two boxes to go around and I make three big pizzas so that's what we're having for supper tonight so hang around and catch our pizza okay I made my dough ahead of time about what the box said and I've let it sit and now I don't roll mine out I just pat it I put me some Crisco oil in my pan Rub it all around. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Now I'm gonna take my dough and I'm just gonna squish it and stretch it so I get it to fill my pan completely. I've got my oven preheating to 425. And then I'm going to bake my dough just long enough to get the glossy, wet look off of it. Okay, I've got my dough spread out in my pan, and I'm going to put it in the oven for probably about five minutes. Okay, I baked my dough just enough to get the wet, glossy look off. So that way it wouldn't be doughy in the middle. Now I'm going to put me some of the Chef Boyardee. And this is not a paid promotional. This is just my favorite. Spaghetti sauce. My favorite is green pepper, onions, and ham. But not everybody likes that. So this pan will be made half and half. Mostly their half. A little bit my half. I guess you can tell what's in mine. I like sausage. I don't. This was the sausage that came from Mima Dixie's, and it's been fried and scrambled up. And ham. This was a package of store-bought ham I cut. And then the little deli packs. So 
say a little bit of ham for Thomas's. And now some pepperonis. with my cheese. The oven is on 425 and it's ready to go in for about 14 to 15 minutes. All right, pizza number two. Put some sauce on it. And this one's going to be one that Thomas likes. Half of it anyway. It's going to be some ham. And he likes a little bit of pineapple. what pineapple I don't use and I will eat for her lunch tomorrow. We're going to have just half pepperoni. And then we got one more still yet to make. And it'll be for Anna. And then who doesn't like anything like the kids? Just cheese. And this would probably run you about a hundred dollars if you went to the store. Let me go grab me some cheese. Now, Thomas thinks you can't put enough cheese on one. All right, this one's ready to go in as soon as the first one comes out. Okay, now for this last one. This one's Anna's, or whoever's, or if we run out of the other, you still got something left to eat, because when it comes time to eat around here, I think they smell it and just start running. Granny's got food, let's go eat. We have strangers show up. Oh, you've got something to eat, could I have a bite? And this one, just cheese. And now we patiently wait till it's all done. Okay, pizza number one is out of the oven. Pizza number two is in the oven. Okay, we've got pizza number two come out of the oven. Somebody's already got in pizza number one. It's good. 
Pizza number three's in the oven. Okay, pizza number three's out. Looks like I have about demolished pizza number one. Eating good tonight. Who makes the best pizza? You do. Thank you. All right, is that what you've been asking for? Yep. Sure mm -hmm. is. Can't that, talk, I got my mouth full. Is that the best pizza in town? Yep, pretty close to it. This pizza's the bomb, I tell you that. <laughs> I done ate three pieces. My pizza? Yeah. Do I make a pizza? Yes. <laughs> you make the best pizza. Well, we got our supper done. There wasn't any pizza left. They eat like a bunch of little pigs. It must have been pretty good. So thank you for watching. Come on back and see us anytime. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hit that bell icon. Thanks from Granny Women of Appalachia.